In this video, I'll share with you the Redwood Forest, Trinidad Beach, and the best campground bathroom that you've probably ever seen, plus my life-changing realization that I had in the forest. Welcome to my channel. I'm Liz Amazing, and these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And I needed to do exactly that to make my childhood dream come true. I had a life-changing realization after I saw the Redwood Forest, and so I will definitely share that with you. But first of all, I actually want to share the Redwood Forest with you, and also, I have seen some really crappy campground bathrooms. I've been full-timing now for almost a year and some really good ones. In fact, the campground I'm at right now, the bathroom is actually really good, but it does not top this amazing bathroom that I had when I stayed in the Redwood Forest. So here Mango and I are just pulling out of the campground to get over to the Redwood Forest. And I just want to point out one of the many cute things he does, and that is he watches for traffic. So when every time I make a turn, he always checks. So I think that is so cute. Trinidad Beach, what can I say? Doesn't it look like it belongs like halfway around the world, right? It is just so stunningly beautiful. And for me, it was such a pleasant surprise. I didn't know it was right here. I went and got gas. This is super close to my campground and I went down a road, I saw a cliff and then boom, here I was on the beach. So here is your beach fix. Okay, so let me show you where Trinidad is. A lot of times, you know, we forget who live in other states how big California is. So Trinidad is way, way up north. It is near the Oregon border. And it is, gosh, really far from San Francisco with like six hour drive, 11 hours from LA. And just in such a gorgeous area, it is actually only 10 miles from the Redwood National Park. I really enjoyed my time in Emerald Forest. I had a week here and they had a store that was open late. There's security, free Wi-Fi, super important, laundry. They even have a video arcade. And then just as you can see, such a lovely, lovely setting with all the tall trees. You're really in the forest. And they have cabins I have not seen inside them, but I imagine they're pretty decent. So there are 70 campsites, 30 of them are tent sites. And these are some of the largest tent sites I've ever seen. And of course, you're right in the middle of the forest. Their tent part of the property is right in the middle. It seems nice and quiet and private. So I thought that was something, if you're into tenting, it would probably be a nice place to go. Now the RV part is not so great. They pack them in and this is not unusual. If you are near a major tourist attraction, they're gonna try and pack in as many sites as they can to serve as many people as possible. And I'm gonna give you a really important tip if you do book here. So here is my site. And you know, it's nothing special, but my neighbors have a tree stump and there were several of these in the campground. Look how big this tree stump is. I mean, it's the size of a small car. So here's my big tip. If you book here, you absolutely wanna stay away from the right side. See that loop on the right side? That is actually against Highway 101 and it is noisy. So try and stay on the left side if it's at all possible. Okay, I have to show you this because this is the best campground bathhouse ever. Check this out.
look, it's totally private. You come in here, you lock the door behind you, and you have your own tiled shower. How great is this? Definitely the best campground bathhouse ever. So my time in the Redwood Forest was so awesome. I mean, it was just magical. I just kept pinching myself. I can't believe I'm here. I can't believe I'm seeing this. I'm finally, finally seeing this after decades, really decades of, you know, wanting to be there. And I just made this really important realization. We spend so much of our lives thinking of that destination. We don't enjoy the journey. It's always, you know, let's, you know, get here, whether it's buying a house or saving for retirement. It's always about getting from point A to point B. And it's really not about enjoying where you are. And I had such a good time in the Redwood Forest. I mean, it was such a peak moment. And I realized, you know, why was it a peak moment? And why can't my whole life be like that? I don't want to just live for these peak moments where I'm finally, you know, going to see someplace I've dreamed about. Can't I find that same joy in every day? And that was my realization that yes, I can. No matter where I am, I can look around and really be happy to be here. Life is so, so precious. And I bet wherever you are, even if you're in a windowless room, you can appreciate where you are and what you have in your life. Because if you look around, I'm sure you can see that there are plenty of people that don't have it as good as you. And you can just be grateful for what you do have. And I know that no matter how old someone gets, they always will tell you that life goes by so fast. It is so precious. And if we're so busy trying to get to that point B, we're not enjoying it to the fullest. And that's what I've learned from the Redwood Forest is that that was fabulous. And it was so fabulous because I was so grateful to be there that I wanted to soak in every possible moment. And if I could bring that magic to my daily life, and even if I'm just sitting in a plain, ordinary campground, which I am, there is something for me to be grateful for. And there is something for me to see and go, wow, that is so awesome. I'm surrounded by trees that are turning color right now because it's fall. Isn't that a magical miracle, right? If I can just stay in that same place of awe that I had in the Redwood Forest, then my life will continue to be a peak moment. So that was just a really big realization for me was that I created the Redwood Forest to be this magical place, which it really was, and it was really amazing. But really, all of life is magical. Every day is sacred. Every breath I take is a miracle and is sacred. And if I can remind myself that, then I will have more enjoyment out of every day because each day is a gift. And we truly don't know when our last day is. So I really am on a, on a path to make sure that I live each day to the fullest because life really is a gift and who knows when it'll be over. And if today's my last day, I wanna spend it in that feeling of awe and gratitude and just wonder that I had in the Redwood Forest. I wanna bring those magical feelings with me to every day. I really hope that this message inspires you to do the same, to really live life to the fullest. It is a gift and we all know people that have died far too young. And the biggest gift that we can do to honor that person who has died before us is to live our own lives to the fullest, to absolutely make each precious moment count, to make each breath count, and be in awe and wonder that we're alive, that life is beautiful right here where you are right now, wherever you are. Life is beautiful. And really what it's all about is making sure that each day we live amazing. And that's why I would love to have you join the A-Team. That's the community that we're building to help support and inspire each other. Just push on the subscribe button. And if you liked this video, you'll love my next one. I'll see you in the next video.